Good morning, my friends. We are gardening today, so I'm in my gardening clothes and I've just put on my sunscreen, so my face looks really white. <laughs> um, but I wanted to draw this giveaway that I forgot to draw on the 1st of December. Today is the 3rd of December. Welcome to the third day of Vlogmas. Thank you so much for all your beautiful comments on my first day and um, keep them coming. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know below what your family Christmas traditions are. I'd love to um, hear below, so let me know. But right now we're going to draw the prizes. So there are three prizes in my giveaway from the last episode of my podcast, um, episode number 12. And I'm going to draw the winner for the first prize, which was this beautiful yarn by Pammy at Zigo Zago. And it's gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And with it comes a lavender sachet that I made and it's got fig leaf prints on it and it will keep the moths away from your yarn. So those two I'm drawing right now. <laughs> and the winner is Amy said oh, it's got the same name as me but the beautiful spelling that um, my Nana has that spelling my Nana did have that spelling I was named after my Nana um, okay so that prize that prize has been drawn. Okay, the second prize is this handkerchief, one of the Swallows hankies. I love this design. It is very pretty, so made by me. And then a mini skein by Pammy at Zigo Zago. Let's see who wins this one. Oops, one's fallen out. We can't have that. I'm getting them all from the bottom here. This is one of Charlotte's little woven baskets that she's made. Just making sure I'm getting everyone. Okay. And the winner of this one is Rose B. So congratulations, you've won the hanky and the mini skein. And the last prize is one of my pocket belts. This one is in a gorgeous Liberty fabrics so just beautiful and there are a few more of these in my shop right now. So this one along with a skein, a mini skein from Pammy again. Beautiful pink colour and it goes really nicely. You could like I have, I have had people comment that these are knitting pouches and I do plan to design one for knitting, walking and knitting at the same time, but you could definitely do a mini skein um, project and walk around knitting with your project in the pouch. Okay. And the winner for this one. I'm very old fashioned with these um, contests whenever I do a giveaway on Instagram I do it this way I haven't quite figured out how to do it on the computer all right the winner is Miss Miss Mrs Pilgrim you can probably hear the one of the dogs yapping congratulations everybody yay <laughs> I will contact you via the comments in um, episode 12 where the giveaway is held and um, I'll get you to email me your addresses so I can send those prizes off to you. Congratulations! Yay! And of course thank you everybody for entering the giveaway and for spruiking me over on Instagram. Um, really touched with all your beautiful comments as well and congratulations to the winners 
It sounds like someone's attended to the puppy, so that's good. I just wanted to show you some of the advents that I opened yesterday and the ones I opened this morning. So yesterday I got a bag of soap nuts in one of my advent swaps. And I have used these before in my washing. I used to wash my kids' nappies with them, actually. Um, and I'm interested in actually making a few other different products with these soap nuts rather than um, using them in the laundry wash. I just found that all the whites never got very white um, using these, um, but they are definitely they definitely work. They definitely clean everything. It's just, um, yeah, I, I can't quite remember why I stopped using them. It was like 12 years ago when I stopped using them. So I started using them with um, Charlotte in nappies and she's going to turn 14. So anyway, it's exciting to have some more of these. I also got given this game, which is quite popular in a chain of restaurants in the US, um, which it's really exciting. Um, we had a go at it. I kept getting four or three <laughs> at the end. Not so smart here. Um, yeah, lots of fun and thank you to Kathleen for this game. We're going to have lots of fun with that. In today's events I opened some valerian tea which is really fitting because I've just started growing valerian. Um, so that's really exciting. I have some dried already to try and um, some beetroot seeds, which is great because I have almost run out of beetroot seeds and I had some beetroot um, going to seed in my garden, but we had strong winds come and knocked most of them over and they all pulled up so they weren't working. I've got a few left over, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I can harvest some seed from those, but that's great. I got this fun uh, fat quarter, of fabric. Open it up. Beautiful colours. Lovely colours. I love that. I might make a um I might make a gift wrap out of out of this. It would be great to wrap presents in. And of course, in the Natural Fibre Arts Advent, I got a new mini scan colour and this creamy colour is just beautiful. And I'm not sure what I'm going to make with all these minis, but I do plan on some. I've got a few um, mini scan projects marked um, and Amber over at a lovely yarn podcast um, just put up a video a few days ago um, of all the scrappy projects, like 50 projects, and I still have to get through the whole um, the whole episode that she, um, video that she uploaded. Um, but some of the patterns on there um, sparked my interest so um, if you haven't already seen it I will um, link it the video below it's excellent also just very quickly before I get outside because it's gonna be 30 degrees today and I need to get out there very soon and it's getting later and later it's like 10 o'clock now and ideally I would be out there at 6 a.m. in the morning but <laughs> um, I was up I was awake um, but I chose to spend some quiet moments winding up one more skein. I'm trying to wind up all four skeins in time to um, cast on some gifts that I want to make. So very quickly, I just wanted to say a big hello to all my new subscribers. My name is Amy and I don't generally introduce myself, I guess, on these vlogs every morning because I'm vlogging every day and I don't know that would be a bit repetitive repetitive um, anyway my name is Amy and I live here in um, Victoria Australia on Jar Jar Waring country and I'm a knitter and a sewer I own a small business where we sew handkerchiefs and other items and we wholesale around Australia as well as selling on my online shop which you can find the link below and we live on a property here, so a small homestead, a small farm. Um, we have 42 acres of land 
and we have sheep, alpacas, chickens, cats, and now two puppies. And we have a big, huge, extensive uh, vegetable garden. I'd say, I sort of say they're at patches because they're quite big and I've got two functioning now and a third that I, and I could just see them here from my studio here in the house. Um, yeah, so we grow a lot of our food here and we raise all the meat that we eat, which is at the moment just lamb. And I have a beautiful little flower garden here as well as so you'll see lots of flowers. And it is summer now here. We call it calendar summer because summer solstice has not arrived yet. And that's when I truly believe summer has really hit because the temperatures get higher generally speaking anyway we haven't had much of a spring we've gone from a sort of a wintry spring to straight to 30 degree uh, day to day um, yeah so when it gets hot it gets hot here and I'm very much looking forward to summer and um, when it gets really hot there's lots of space to sit and knit but I find myself at the moment quite um, on the move, planting everything else in before summer really sets in. So I have to get in some more sunflower seeds and lots and lots of medicinal herbs. I need to get all those herbs in the garden very soon. So today is about making space in the garden and cutting all the grass because the grass is getting long around my vegetable patches. Um, yeah, so we're going to do a tidy up. I might do a bit of a before and after shot um, for those who watched my, my vlog on day number one. I did not get around to cleaning my house. It is still a mess. At least I've like done the dishes, but um, I really need to do a deep clean of the kitchen and the kitchen table. Um, but that will just have to wait until night time basically I need to be outside while it's sunny and get all of this outside tidying up done so there will be a bit of garden footage today I'll just do as I said before a before and after and a, maybe a little bit in between um, but there'll be also lots of puppy footage because I'm with the puppies a lot too although the kids are really helping out they're they're so good they do I do I do the like a two-hour shift in the morning from like 5 30 to 7 30 and then I get to like have my breakfast and have a shower <laughs> all those things and then they take over um, Latham does a bit of walking um, yeah so it's good anyway I will get going and um, I will chat to you later mm -hmm. 